We begin with the Israel-Hamas war and the breaking developments late today. The IDF confirming to ABC News that it is carrying out a targeted operation at the Al-Shifa hospital tonight. This comes as a humanitarian crisis in Gaza only grows worse by the hour. Hospitals like Al-Shifa running out of supplies. Today, rescuers search for victims trapped under buildings following an Israeli airstrike on a refugee camp today. Matt Gutman and our team embedding with the IDF deep inside of Gaza to witness what's happening with their own eyes. Israel claims Hamas is using basements and areas like hospitals to operate and hold hostages. Tonight, officials inside Gaza are pushing back on those claims. But late today, U.S. officials declassified intelligence that they say backs Israel's assertion. Tonight, we're following it all, including massive protests here in the U.S. But we begin in the war zone inside Gaza with our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman. Riding in those jeeps, we drove into Gaza. The roads ground to dust, and all around us, the ruins of Gaza's northern communities. The apocalyptic scenes of apartment complexes shredded by bombs. There is not a single building that we have seen so far that is unscathed here in northern Gaza. We were embedded with the Israeli military, which has repeatedly asserted in recent days that Hamas operates bases in tunnels and basements in key civilian infrastructure like hospitals. This is the hospital. And now saying they have held hostages there too. That, says the Israeli military, is the justification for their siege of Gaza City's main hospitals. We wanted to see for ourselves what we could find out. That road leading past what had been a luxury hotel, now charred black, much of it collapsed. Armored vehicles and scores of infantry bearing heavy packs emerging from those clouds of dust. We arrive at this brigade headquarters, then load into a more protected vehicle. These guys are mounting up. We're going in these Bradleys. Look like Bradleys. They're called Namel. They're called Tigers in Hebrew. They're basically tanks without turrets. And they're heavily armored personnel carriers. This is pretty much the safest vehicle you can take inside of Gaza. It rumbles through Gaza City, which had a population of over a million people. But in our three hours inside Gaza, we did not see a single civilian. An estimated 1.3 million Gazans fleeing southward through humanitarian quarters. We're now inside this armored fighting vehicle, and we are going towards the Rentisi Specialized Children's Hospital that has been evacuated. We unload outside the hospital into active fighting. Admiral, how are you? As we met Israel's chief military spokesman, Daniel Hagaria, former naval commando, a tank blasts just ahead. You can hear the tank. Moments later, another shell blasted down the street. Tanks are about 150 meters away from us, are firing, but we're with the um, head military spokesperson who was a former Israeli Navy SEAL. They believe that there are tunnels beneath the hospital right around here at some point. And that's why they have all these bulldozers out here. You can see just the utter devastation around here. Every car destroyed. Almost every single building we see damaged from the fighting here. I've never seen anything like this before. He shows us a house that he said had belonged to a Hamas commander who was killed. We're now here in an area between a hospital, a school, and a terrorist house. And right beside the house, that shack. Taking electricity from the solar panels of the Hamas commander's house to these cables and down into the tunnel. Look at the electricity and look at the cables coming down, uh. coming down to the tunnel. This energy goes and this tunnel goes directly to the hospital. We found a door with a robot uh. going down the location of the hospital. Now we're still researching it. When we come out, the shooting intensifying. I don't know if you can hear all that small arms fire in the background. We gotta get down now. An operation. Operation conducted. We crouch down. We hear the whistles of the small arms fire around us. When you hear the whistle, in addition to the crack, it means it's very close. We're using the tank as cover right now. That's why it's rolling with us. As we're walking slowly towards the hospital itself, small arms fire from the west of where we are. Right there in a crater beside the hospital, soldiers prepping to blow up grenades and suicide vests they say they found inside the hospital. 
Israel says its intelligence shows Hamas has been using Gaza's hospitals as operation and command centers, showing videos like this, claiming it shows a militant near Al-Quds Hospital nearby appearing to fire an RPG at an Israeli tank. The Biden administration declassifying U.S. intelligence that it says backs up Israel's claim. We do have information that Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad uses some hospitals in the Gaza Strip, including the Al-Shifa Hospital. Most of those alleged Hamas operations are below ground. Above it, hospital administrators deny seeing Hamas operatives among them, saying they only see suffering. At Al-Shifa Hospital today, Gaza's largest, doctors telling us the hospital has ceased to function. We managed to bury around 180 bodies within the hospital. How many? 180. You have buried 180 bodies from within the hospital in that mass grave? Absolutely, yeah. Last week, Dr. Mohalalati sending us these images of the premature babies taken out of incubators because there is no fuel to run the generators in the hospital. Three of the 39 infants there have died. A doctor telling ABC News the rest are alive and in good condition. And back with Admiral Hagari, just about a mile north of Al Shifa, he leads us inside the hospital. You guys can go ahead. Through a hole made by an artillery shell. Hagari taking us to what he said had been the children's safe room in the hospital. Those AK 47s look pretty old and rusty. I mean, was this a crack force that was here? No, no. Some of the gear uh, was uh, operationally gear, but you also some of the terrorists fled away. They did not stay here with the hostages. We did not capture here terrorists with hostages. They fled away. They fled away with the hospital. Might be with the evacuation that we conducted of the sick people. And again, mm. it shows us the war machine Hamas is conducting from hospitals. Farther into the dark basement, a separate section. Hagari revealing that chair. Hagari, what makes you think that this was a spot where somebody was held hostage? We're, we're going to bring here a forensic team. The only reason I brought you here, and I'm taking a huge risk, because you see the fighting outside. On the floor, we notice something. Tying Look at this. Hair. Yes. Yeah, don't touch it. There, don't touch it. It looks please. like there's a lace down there. There's a lace, probably. And you think that that was used to bind I, a possible it, hostage? This is my assumption, because we are now only four hours after we entered into this hospital, and a forensic team is on the way here, so we can touch the things, and also the baby bottle, okay, upstairs. But all this basement was disconnected by Hamas, was disconnected by Hamas from the rest of the hospital. Tying hostages on a chair in his facility in a basement, fighting us for a hospital, using the children here in this hospital, a hospital for children, as a human shield. This is Hamas. He shows us a bathroom that he says was custom made for the hostages. Israel's naval commandos had blasted through those doors, revealing a kitchen and this room beyond. But why do you have curtains in a place there is no windows? Unless you want to make films to provide someone films of hostages. It says here in Arabic on the 7th of October, that's the name of the operation that the terrorists uh, made. The seventh operation massacre is called the Storm of Al-Aqsa or the Flood of Al-Aqsa, something like that. That's, that's the name. And then you got a name and a date for each terrorist with his name, conducting a, a guard uh, list. Everybody has his own shift, a daily shift. And it stops here. But tonight, the director of the hospital is denying Israel's claim, saying the facility was used for displaced families, not hostages. We called Hagari's people the day after our visit to ask if they'd learned more about this place. They had nothing new to share with us. Got your back. It is pitch black as we make our way out, nighttime in northern Gaza. And the darkness of this war and the silence of this one's busy city enveloping a whole region. Just gets more dire by the day. Our thanks to Matt Gutman for that report. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.